This week is National School Choice Week, and there's a renewed effort in Texas to expand education options with school choice vouchers. News 4 San Antonio's Matt Roy explains why these vouchers continue to cause so much division in Texas education. School choice vouchers essentially give parents the ability to choose to put their kids into private and charter schools and use public money to do so. The problem is public schools get their funding per student. So if more children are going to private and charter schools, then the funding goes with them. The State Board of Education is calling on them to reject all attempts to divert public dollars away from public schools. Rebecca bell Metro says moving funds from public education, which she says is already underfunded, would have dire repercussions. Whenever you start chipping away at the public schools, you're hurting a lot of people, uh, especially in the rural counties. Republican State Senator Mays Middleton has brought this bill forward to the legislature and says increasing parents' choice in their child's education is a must. Parents matter, uh, and all this is is putting more tools in the hands of parents to decide what's best for their child's unique educational needs. Typically, charter school parents have more say in curriculum and aren't under the same educational umbrella as public schools. You have all different kinds of private schools and they are overseen by an entity that ensures to the state that their standards, they're not the same as the state standards, but they are equivalent to or better than those of Texas public schools. Rural Republicans are against it, saying it erodes their sacred public education system while others like Middleton and Governor Greg Abbott see it as transferring power to parents. Areas in, across the country that have robust school choice programs per pupil spending in the local school districts goes up, the test scores improve, and families are happy with the options that they have. Matt Roy, News 4, San Antonio.